it, it speaks of this moment, which says to us, faith is always active, no matter who possesses it. Because look at the text that is before us. When your faith is strong, when you are truly convinced, nothing can undo your faith. This is why Jesus would say, according to your faith, be it unto you. To make it even more plain, because of your faith, it will happen. The focus of this discourse is to let us continue to realize how valuable faith is. Because every believer in Christ Jesus should have some faith. Because how much faith we should have is determined by how strong we believe. The Lord spoke on various occasions throughout the Gospels how he recognized the faith in those who came seeking him. It was that faith that convinced them that if I can only get to Jesus, then I can be healed. It is in this text the same thing takes place. This is the first of two times that two blind men heard that Jesus was near. The second occurrence, it, it takes place in this same gospel in Matthew in chapter 20, verses 29 through 34, where two blind men again come seeking Jesus. But what's interesting about both of these situations Jesus heals them. But the two in the text are asked, do they believe he came? While in the second passage in Matthew 20 through 29 to 34, Jesus says, what do you want me to do? Now it's amazing, my brothers and sisters, how the Lord handles every situation. And, and he doesn't always handle them the same. This is why he would declare, according to your faith, be it unto you. Isn't it wonderful that the Lord would personalize our faith? Think about that for a moment, because God, even his son, would personally say, your faith is what moved me. Your faith is what impressed me. And this is what he said in reference to two blind men according to your faith. Now this ought to encourage us to know that our faith means something. Uh, I, I say this from this perspective because don't belittle your faith. Your, your faith can do more than you can imagine. Especially when the Lord is pleased to see us living by faith. Yes, yes, yes. But listen, what takes place in this text is certainly all about faith. That's all you see. As, as it seems like it just leaps out. That, that all we see is that faith is being demonstrated. And, and can I tell you that faith is, has an uncanny way to let us go beyond what is normal. Yes. Because listen, there is nothing normal about faith. Expects it, listen, it, it sees as that song says the invisible. It, it, it expects the incredible. It, it receives the impossible. And I just like to say the faith makes a difference. Yes, it does. No matter how you try to examine it, because, because the question was put to you now, how is your faith? Because these two blind men prove that it doesn't take physical sight to have a thank you, Jesus. Uh, Some think that you got to see in order to believe that. And, and here is two blind men who just by chance knew that Jesus was around. And, and, and all they had was faith. It's right there in the text. And, and that's all they needed, if I can say that, because Faith separates those who believe from those who don't. And, and when the fact says no, faith says yes. Now look at these two blind men. They were moved by faith. So much that first of all, their faith calls them to pursue. It's, it's right in the text. Look at verse 27. When Jesus had the this, 
Jesus just left here a ruler's door. Amen. Who had been gravely ill. Who was even pronounced dead. All right. It's, it's right there in, in chapter 29, the previous verses that you see that Jesus went in the room and he caused the girl to rise. And she became alive. But not only that, you'll hear that there was a woman who had an issue of blood. Right, right, right. Amen. For 12 years. And, and that woman who pressed her way to get to Jesus. Amen. Had believed this in her heart. And if I could just touch the hem of his garment. I know I'll be back. But Jesus said, but because of your faith. Yeah. You have been made whole. But, but here it is now, after he had just done two extraordinary miracles. All right, all right. Here come two blind men. Yes. Now, I don't know where they come from. I, all I can go by the text is that they had heard that Jesus was around. Yes. Now, we are not told that they had anybody to guide them to Jesus. But, but we are assuming that perhaps they had someone who had led them to where he was. Yes. And so therefore, their faith caused them to pursue yes. Jesus. Yes. Because it says two blind men followed him. And, and if you know about pursuing, I mean following him. And, and, and as they followed him, look at what they do. They cried, saying, thou son of David, have mercy on us. It's interesting that they would use this Amen. Title to address Jesus. They didn't call him by name, but they said, Thou son of David, yeah, right. have mercy on us. So I believe that they will use the title that, report, that pointed towards him as being the Messiah. And, and, and because of his lineage that he came through, that even being referred to the son of David meant that they knew that this was the Messiah who would come. But aren't you glad, brothers and sisters, that they had faith that convinced them to pursue the master? Now, I want to say to somebody right now, is your faith causing you to pursue the master? Why do you have faith that just had got you sitting down and got you frustrated, got you at the point of not believing? But if you got faith that has convinced you that I need to follow, I need to seek after Jesus. Yes. Amen. These two blind men ought to say something to you. Yeah, all right. Amen. Men that didn't have physical sight. Yeah. And sometimes I'm concerned with us who do have physical sight. All right, all right, all right. It seems like we ought to have more faith. <laughs> Amen. Than those who don't have sight. All right, all right. But I'm glad that this is an example to us that it was according to their faith. Yes, yes. And aren't you glad that these two blind men came on the scene? We don't know where they come from. Yes. We don't even know where they were citizens of. Yes. But all the scripture would say that once Jesus had done what he had already did, these two blind men followed him, yes. crying and saying, Thou son of David, yes. have mercy on us. They were in the right place, and they were certainly calling out to the right person. Yes. And brothers and sisters, your faith will never deceive you. Yeah. Especially if it know who it wants. Yeah. That's why I'm glad that these two yeah. blind men follow yeah. after him. Yeah. I'm still curious how did they follow him, <laughs> not being able to see him for themselves. Yeah. But perhaps there is an unknown pause in the scripture that maybe there were two who were leading them to Jesus. But look at how they pursued him. They pursued him, crying out to him, saying, have mercy on us, yes. which was a good indication that they were going to get Jesus to heal them. Yes. Yes. And secondly, I want to let you know their faith caused them to be persistent. Right. Now listen, verse 28 continues on. It seemed like in verse 27 that Jesus didn't acknowledge them. There's nowhere in between 27 and 28 where Jesus said a word. No doubt it seemed like he ignored them. Right. That Jesus went right on into the house. But he didn't go in by himself. The blind men came to him. 
which is a, a persistency that we see in their faith. Yeah, yeah. They were not just willing to just let him ignore them. Yeah. But they said, we got to go a little further. All right. Amen. If we're expecting our faith to convince us yes. that yes. Jesus can heal us from our blindness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So their faith calls them to be persistent. Yes. It calls them to go into the house. Oh, yeah. Now what's curious here, who invited them to I come know, in? Know, know, Amen. Know. Because if the truth be told, oh, if somebody was following us and they got in our house, oh, we all would be wondering who let them in. Yeah. But I'm glad in this day and age that Jesus was in. Now, yeah. it, it was not that much security. Yeah. As we have on our doors. Yeah. Amen. We have all locks on the doors. We even got security for the doors. But I'm glad that in the text, when Jesus went in the house, the blind men, they came in also. Yeah. They were persistent, my friends. And sometimes on the journey, your faith got to make you that persistent. Yeah. And I'm not going to take no for an answer. Yeah. I'm not going to take the Lord ignoring my cry. Right. But I'm going to keep on letting him see I want him to help me. And I believe Jesus deliberately uh, let them follow him. Let him come in the house. Uh, so he can now ask the question. Uh, Believe that I can do this. So yeah, yeah. He says it right in verse 28. Now, because he knew they were following him yeah, uh, yeah. for a particular reason. Now, and my brothers and my sisters, uh, when you're going before the Lord, uh, don't just get frustrated. Now, don't give up on what you asked him to do. Uh, yeah, but right. stay with him. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because he might be testing uh, yeah, if yeah. your faith is real. Yeah. Now, how do you I know that some people call on the Lord uh, and don't really believe he can do what they say. Uh, but in this account, uh, Jesus knew that these two men uh, came to him deliberately. Uh, so he asked them the question, uh, believe you uh, that I'm able to do this. Uh, listen to the Lord. Uh, presents this question. Uh, do you believe uh, that I'm able to help you? Uh, I'm for the response. Uh, yeah. They said unto him, uh, Yes, Lord, uh, yeah. we believe. Uh, yeah. I wonder in the house, uh, yeah. is there anybody here uh, have that type of faith uh, yeah. that will convince you uh, yeah. that if the Lord asks me the question, uh, can I tell him, Yes, Lord, uh, yeah. I believe uh, that you can heal me. Uh, yeah. So Jesus yeah. now uh, goes forth. Uh, and, the, and the reason that faith uh, was so powerful, it now brought them some provision. Uh, oh, yeah. What was the provision? Uh, right. Jesus does it quickly. Uh, yeah. In verse 29, uh, he touched their eyes. Uh, yeah. And it's just a good thing. Uh, he touched their eyes. Uh, it didn't say he laid his hand uh, on their eyes. Uh, but he touched their eyes. Uh, and Jesus said these words. Uh, According to your faith, uh, be it unto you. Uh, I wonder right now, uh, is there anybody here uh, has that type of faith? Uh, faith uh, that will make you move. Uh, what it seems like uh, nothing else can happen. Uh, faith uh, that can convince you uh, that the Lord is able. Uh, there's nothing he can't handle. Uh, uh, in this text, uh, these two black men uh, who had enough faith uh, that Jesus would commend them. Uh, he says, according uh, to your faith, uh, you got to shout there. Uh, he said unto you, uh, it shall be done. Uh, that's all he said. Uh, because of the faith uh, you possess in me, uh, it shall be done. Uh, can I talk to somebody? Somebody needs uh, to be reminded uh, that your faith uh, in God uh, is still good. Uh, if you believe uh, in your heart, uh, if you are convinced uh, that if God uh, says he can do it, uh, he will look at your faith uh, and tell you uh, according uh, to your faith. Uh, he loves you. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I'm glad uh, and the response uh, of these brothers. Uh, of when Jesus uh, had done what he did, uh, their eyes 
is a world open. Oh, yeah. It wasn't no Hollywood thing. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't no slow motion. Uh, no special effects. Yeah. Uh, the scripture declared no. When they opened their eyes, yeah. uh, they now could see. Uh, yeah. But Jesus uh, does something extraordinary. Oh, yeah. uh, he tells them uh, to be quiet. Uh, yeah. Don't tell no man. Uh, yeah. He did this. Uh, yeah. Don't tell nobody. Yeah. How you got here. Yeah. Uh, but can I say this? Uh, yeah. Sometimes, no, yeah. we get an eye kick at yeah. the spirit. Yeah. Uh, we get a dead yeah. uh, somebody. Yeah. Uh, the Lord uh, yeah. has done for us. Uh, yeah. And I believe uh, at times uh, he don't mind uh, if we tell somebody. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just believe uh, he purposely uh, set us up uh, yeah. so we can yeah. get us uh, up to somebody. Yeah. Uh,
Listen, I believe faith is like a, a, a muscle. Yeah. You got to keep on working it out. Yeah. Keep working it out. Because yeah. after a while, it's going to get strong. Yeah. Yeah. If you just keep working yeah. it out. Because yeah. just enough faith, yeah. it can go a long way. Yeah. And so I'm glad Jesus acknowledged he's right oh, yeah. He said, according to y'all faith, be yeah. it unto you. Oh, yeah. I recognize you can't the your faith. I recognize you believe what I was able to do in faith. Yeah. And now he is your blessing. Oh, yeah. And I want to say to somebody that God is saying the same to you. Yeah. Don't give up on him. No, no. Keep the faith in him. Yeah. You think God don't know what you're going through. Yeah. But let me tell you, he knows yeah. what you're going through. Yeah. Sometimes we need to go through. Yeah. So we can have something to tell somebody. Yeah. Just keep on pressing. Because yeah. God will get you through. Yeah. And sometimes we don't enjoy the in-between, but the in-between is, is a testing place. Yeah. It's a preparing place. Yeah. It's a place that gives birth to testimony. Yeah. And listen, when you come out of it, you got something to say. Yeah. Amen. I, I don't know who I'm talking to. Yeah. But somebody needs to be convinced that God knows what you're going through. Yeah. And he knows what's best. For your soul. Yeah. And if it means I got to get beat up sometime, yeah. if God got something to do with it, yeah. I'll come out of it. Yeah. I'm going to come out better than I was. Yeah. So therefore, brothers and sisters, we got to have faith in the great I am. Yeah. And when we got faith, God knows how to reward yeah. Have I ever been rewarded or blessed? Yeah. Because of your faith. That's why we say now unto him that is in him. I think you know it because you exceed it abundantly. And sometimes it's above all that we actually think. I'm glad God will outdo the things that we thought of. That we imagine in our hearts. Just to let us see why he is God. Everybody know that he is God. And when you trust him, he going to see you through. It don't matter what comes, God is that. He's more powerful than any force. He's more understanding than any person. And if you trust God, have faith in him, watch God work. You be still and see the salvation of the Lord. Sometimes we think salvation is just one thing, but salvation can point towards provision. For God getting you out of something. And if you be still and have faith in God, yes. no matter what the naysayers may do, know who your help comes from. Oh, yes. Do anybody know where your help comes from? Yes. It comes from the Lord. Yes. Yes. And listen, if God brought me this far, yes. why do I think he's going to let me go now? Come on, God. Amen. He's, he's with us in the duration. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's with us to the end. Yes. And if we can just hold on to God, we can make it. We're going to survive. Yes, so my brothers and sisters, let us understand. That's according to your faith. Yes, Don't let nobody else define your faith. Yes, Sometimes we'll let our faith get weak because of somebody else's doubt. Yes, but then sometimes we might need to do like Jesus. May need to clear the house. Amen. Amen. So many who don't believe. You need to have some people around you that still believe. By the time we don't allow the, the, the enemy to let doubt fill the house. Because somebody in there is trying to second guess. Instead of saying, Lord, I trust you. I forsake it all, I trust you. I depend on you, knowing your track record. Y'all y'all know about his track record. Yeah. Amen. He's still a miracle worker. Yes, he is. He is still God. Yes, he is. World without end. Yes. He's God. So my brothers and sisters, bless you today. I'm going to have to leave the Thank God today that according to your faith. This was personal. I pray that you took it today as being personal. Because God looks at your faith. Yes, sir. Amen. And your faith means something to God.
whenever I tell you that, no, you should believe. Yes, believe. If you're the only person in the room. Amen. God know how to work through doubt. Even if there is some trying to convince you to join with faith. You keep the faith and don't doubt. And know that our God is going to do that. If I came to him looking, if I came to him expecting, I don't believe he's going to fail me. Amen. He won't do it. Amen. Bless you. Come on, brother. We want to extend the invitation to discipleship. If there's somebody.